YouTubers, the new time travel Jaime 88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. And yes, we're still celebrating Doctor Who's 50th anniversary. So today, I'm doing another fourth Doctor adventure. It is Doctor Who, the Ark in Space Special Edition. Yes, this is a fantastic story. The best ever Tom Baker story it is fun to watch. Great episode. This four-part story originally transmitted on January 25th through February 15th, 1975. And this is the second story of its 12th season. Before we get to the review, I just want to give a quick shout-out to Melissa Rivera. Melissa Rivera, your videos are awesome. Keep up the good work. Okay, let's get on to review. The plot begins, the TARDIS materialized on an aged space station. Sarah is overcome by the lack of oxygen, while Harry and the Doctor explore. Sarah is transported away and placed into a cryogenic suspension by the station's computer. Harry and the Doctor explore and realize the station is kind of an arc. Discovering Sarah, Harry search for resuffocation some suffocation unit, but discovered a mummified alien insects instead. A woman named Vera revives from a suspended animation. Vera revives both Sarah and Ark's leader, Lazar, nicknamed Nola. The doctor tells Vera that the Ark space station Nerva inhabits have overslept by several millennia, thanks to the insect visitor that sabotaged the control system, Nola and the visitor clash, and Nola accused them of murdering a missing crewmate. Nola is investigate the power room and is affected by the alien creature. The doctor realized the alien exit laid eggs inside the missing crew member, who became an alien, now inhabit the Ark. Nola kills a crewmate, but recovers enough to order Vira to revive the remaining crew and evacuate. But the doctor realizes the alien pupil will mature too quickly for this. He proposed that they destroy the worm. While they are in dormant pupil stage, the section of the worm, I mean worm, Corpse revealed that the worms are vulnerable to electric uh, to electricity. Sorry, I had to um, have trouble stutter. As he tried to reactivate the station's power to fully transform, Nola attacks him. Nola reveals that the worms were driven from their home by human settlers now to attempt to absorb all human knowledge. To electrify the cryogenic chambers and overcome the Warren, the Warren, or how you pronounce the name, I can't pronounce it, Sarah crawls through a service conduct to receive the doctor and succeed, I mean, to reach the doctor and succeed in electrifying the Ark set back. Nola, as the swarm leader, offers to other safe passage from the Ark if they leave the sleeping crew for the Warren, but the crew declined. The Warren escaped in a transporting ship. Nola realized his alternate nature sabotaged the engine. He transmitted one final goodbye to Vera before the, the transport ship explode with the entire swearing, swearing swarm on board. In a closing sequence, the TARDIS party transmitted down to Earth to repair the receiver terminal to allow the Ark to colonists to repopulate the Earth. So, that's the end of the crew. And they, tr and they beam down to Earth, which involves in the next story to see the repair. So, the Doctor offers a jelly belly to Vara as they beam aboard. Yep. This is a great story. I love this. So let's take a look at the DVD itself. You have the big old bug monster. Here's 
Nola transporting transporting into a green r plastic thing. Here's the fourth doctor, space station Nerva, and here's the BBC logo. Wow, the I love this logo. The Tom Baker years, 1970 to 1981. This is a two-dick set. Here's the spine. But, Russ Raw with the picture. Oh, I get it. There is no two entertain logo. They dropped the two entertain logo. So here's the still pictures from the story. We have audio commentary by actor Tom Baker. Elizabeth Sladen and producer Philip Hinchcliffe. A New Frontier TV movie version. Doctor Forever. Love and War. Scenes around six, eight millimeter location footage. Interviews, original BBC One trailers, alternate title sequence, models and CGI effects footage, 3D technical schematics, photo gallery, TARDIS cam, optical effects, PDF material, and so forth. Here's Dix 1 and Dix 2. This four part story was rebroadcast on BBC One on August 20th, 1975, as an omnibus movie version. It was first broadcast in North America on PBS in 1978. It is narrated by Howard DeSilvia, syndicated by Time Life Television. That's it for this review. To get a shout out in my next video, comment down below and tell me what is your favorite multi-Doctor Who story. This is the new time travel, Jaime88, saying so long.